Hello guys and welcome back to a new video from Paris, Auto Show 2024. I'm right here with a brand new Citroën EC4, the electric version. They bring also on the market uh, an, uh, a hybrid version, but this one is the electric version, which I want to present you if I can do that, because there are so many people here. It's like almost, look at this, it's like almost impossible. Like I'm on the bus and there are so many people around here. Anyway, let's let's get back to the car. To be honest, it's a world premiere and the car look really interesting. They still keep that strange look design. It's kind of a controversial, at least the front end, it's quite controversial. I will show you also around the car, which kind of keep the same shape, the same design language, I would say, but they change a little bit the headlamps, the rear lamps, and also the front end, the bumper. It's much more sleeker, much more round design. Overall, it's a nice car try my best to show you as many things as possible but as soon as I get the car for a proper test drive and the proper review as always will come soon so stay close for more information. First of all let's start with the front because we are here and you can see the biggest change is actually the big things that the car come with are those new headlamps which are LED lights they are not matrix but they are LED lights this is the daytime running light daytime running light and this area here this daytime running light will turn into the turning signal which is really interesting the way it looks I like very much that the front end it's kind of round so these days all the cars I saw all the cars manufacturers start to make the cars much more rounder to improve the aerodynamic and I like this idea of electric car round shape clean and simple and here you can see you have a little bit of black glossy the Citroen logo in the middle the front camera here you have some air intakes here you have some air intakes here is the rudder in the front also pretty simple and nice uh, also some goldish color they added here and here we have the fog lamps which are also LED six sensors on the front for parking and all that safety features but overall really interesting the way the front end look up here on the windshield you can see you have a camera for all the safety features, reading the traffic, speed limit, sign, lane assist, also sensors for light and raining. Plus you can see the head-up display right here through the window to the windshield. The head-up display is positioned on this plastic plate, which is not always convenient, you know, because sometimes it's much better to have it directly on the windshield, but yeah, they still keep it on that plate. Cutting the cost a little bit. Now, when it comes to technical data, and then we will go forward, the consumption, of course, 14.9, zero CO2 emission. It has a 54 kilowatt hour battery, is the 156 horsepower. So yeah, for more details, we will go as soon as I get the car. Don't wanna go too much into the technical data, but you can see right here all the infos. You can also pause the video if you wanna read more information about it. The trunk space, 380 liters. You have also the height, the length of the car. Also, we have the maximum speed, 150 kilometers, zero to 109.3 seconds. You have also the charging at 11 kilowatt in AC. In DC, we have, I don't know, we don't have that numbers. I didn't have time to read about it as well. But yeah, anyway, as soon as I get more time, I will find out. I will uh, make a proper video when I get the car. Now, those are the options and the price starting at 38,000 go to 40,550 euro so yeah not bad I mean the price is not that bad the car look really interesting I like very much that we have those plastic protection around the wheels which is very practical very useful very efficient and you can see it's all over the car plus those down skirts here LED light under the mirror. We have the mirror caps that looks like some mirrors from Peugeot. I like it. It's in black. You have turning signal here, LED light. The mirrors are also pretty big, so you have good visibility. Simple handles when it comes to door and the way it sounds, it's pretty good quality. I like that the door is also uh, pretty light. Let me go inside because I have this chance now and then we will go outside. Now, when it comes to quality on the doors, design wise, it's really interesting, really nice. And I like the fact that here we have soft material everywhere on the upper side. Here we have soft material leather in this area. You have also this new trim in white handle. You have leather here, it's quite soft. I like it. Buttons for the windows, electric adjustable mirrors, some storage space here. And here we have the speaker. Also, the seats are manual adjustable seat. You can see they are manual adjustable seats, so you can adjust it in every position you want. 
There you have the pedals, which are normal pedals, uh, not aluminum pedals, a little bit higher. Here you have the controllers for the head-up display on the physical button, controller for the headlamps, and a little bit higher here. Uh, you have soft material and you have those vents, which they keep this design from uh, from Citroen. And of course, here you have also the lumbar adjustable position, so you can adjust the lumbar position from there and also the seats uh, from that position. Now, the seats and the quality of the seats you can see from here. I'm a big fan of the seats. I find that the Citroen seats are one of the most comfortable seats. They are super soft. And if you sit on them, you will understand what I'm telling you. The best comfortable seats, if you want the best from comfort. How are the seats? You speak English? Yes. You like the seats? I find it the best. They have some extra foam and I think Citroen, in terms of seats, are one of the best, the most comfortable seats. Not seat. sporty, you know, in the mountain. Not sporty. Consider that. A yeah, they are not sporty, but the comfort is yeah. good, right? You like it, huh? Like it. I know you. I just, I'm yeah? You channel. know me? Oh, yeah. thanks. Nice to meet you. <laughs> thanks. Nice to meet you, too. It's okay being on the video? Yeah. Oh, how you like the car? I really, I really, it's it complicated like it. in France, I think. Yeah. For design perspective. Yeah. Uh, because it's... People, uh, I mean, my French friends say that yeah. in terms of design, it can be like unbalanced a little bit. Yeah. But with this space lift, I think it's uh, it's nice, huh? It's nicer now. So yeah. The screen is bigger now. The screen is bigger. Yeah, it's digital, right? Yeah. There's a head-up display directly on the. It's okay. It's nice. The climatic system with physical button. That's good because. Many people like physical buttons here. Like too, yeah. yeah. <laughs> USB. And here, I think it's wireless charging. Yeah, it's yeah. wireless charging for your phone. Some storage space here yeah. with LED light. And under here. Oh, yeah. Ah, I cool. This. I didn't know. Now I see it also. You have some extra space I, there. I don't know. About this. It's not even. Uh, this trim. I know it's, it's, there was some. Uh, it's soft for the tablet, you know? Ah, uh, maybe. But now it's no more. Yeah. Maybe on other version. I yeah. don't know. And here you have the vents. Feel good. Not bad, huh? The screen, I like the screen. You like it? It's not, it's not I, big. I think it's good position because you look like yep. easy, it's not down. When it's down, you have to look more down. But yeah, it's it's not big. I think They're it's more fine. More the, the very big screen is in the horizontal. Ah, you think it's too long like, like that? Come, you know, come possibly. I think you get around it. I think it's fine for the... I don't like that you have to always go with these buttons. And when yeah. you want to go back, you have to always go back. For example, you go yep. here, and then you want to go to see some energy information. Yeah. And then here, it's nice. You see also energy flow and all that stuff. But when you want to go back, you don't have a back button. Uh, no, it gets you all the way yeah. back and then you have yeah, to go right. again here. You're right. So it will be nice if you have a button. There's so much space to put some, something. Yeah, well, it's nice to have a button there. Yeah, here yeah. is the language. Change in English. Thanks, man. Yeah, I continue. Here is the button. So uh, yeah, here is the driving mode. You have three driving modes: Eco, Normal, Sport. Nice. And then the wire. I like that. Is the wire shift by wire transmission is so easy to use. I like it. And you have also the B mode, the regenerative yeah, brake. You can I regenerate can more. Yeah, yeah, you have more <laughs> regenerative brake here. Yeah. Electronic handbrake, some storage space, and some not little storage space. Not too big, but it's fine. Ah, this is adjustable. It's nice. Up here you have also some uh, nice light, not LEDs, normal halogen light, vanity mirror, nice. The roof, ah, I like that it's white, that means it's much more brighter inside. Yeah, without the sunroof is better. Yeah, yeah, you can see. Yeah, it's nice. And the glow box, yeah. Oh, it's huge, huh? Too big. Yeah. Man, it's one of the biggest glow box, right? Look at this, it's so big. Something it's, huge. It's, huge. it's huge. I like it, yeah. Guys, more information about uh, multimedia. Probably you saw it also from Peugeot. Ciao, nice thank uh, you. saw it from Peugeot. You have the same information right here. Like all the safety feature, brightness of the cockpit, uh, customization, you can customize the screen. And yeah, it's quite nice, but yeah, it can be better, but it's, it's good. It's much better, definitely much better than what was before. Here are all the safety features. So you can adjust uh, and change, activate, disactivate different safety features. Super simple. Yeah, an application drawer here, you find all the settings of the car. But yeah, in general, it's, it's fine. I like also the steering wheel with a new design. You see the new trend of the steering wheel with flat up, flat down, physical button for changing different settings are like that the fact that they have physical button here you have a speaker it's quite nice and also the screen up ah, by the way 
in terms of changing the screen you change it from this button here so you can change the view from here so you can see the map you can see even the map there on the screen i like that energy flow and also how many kilometers you can still drive with a car so yeah, quite nice i go out because the people definitely wait too much for me and i i don't want to be a bad person now going on the upper side you can see now this car this ec4 have a b color we have black on the roof and then the color of the car here on the side i like very much these rear lamps i think they look really nice and this is a new kind of a new design language they try to keep those horizontal lines like in the front so you have split it from here and here it looks really interesting the turning signal in the middle I really like them and they look kind of a three-dimensional. I like the way they integrate it also in this black, piano black in this area. I think it's nice integration, Citroën here writing on the back. You have also this spoiler, I should call it. You don't have air intakes around here, so it's definitely close here. Really interesting, but it's just looking so interesting. And then you have the window on the lower end. It looks futuristic, it looks interesting. I like the back end, tinted windows up. The brake light, it's here integrated into the window. There is the uh, radio antenna, which look also modern and nice. EC4, LED lights on the number plate and reverse camera. Also some black glossy here. Here you have the fog lamp. Then you have also this black uh, matte plastic. You have six sensors on the rear, some element here on the side as well. I don't know. It looks nice from my point of view. Uh, it looks really cool from the back. I like the back end. The front end, it's a little bit controversial, but the back end looked really spectacular. I like the back end. The rims, I didn't talk about the rims. It comes with 18 inch rims, brake discs on the rear. And on the front, we have ventilated brake discs. So those are also quite nice. Again, otherwise the other things you already saw it. When it comes to window, we don't have double glass, it's a normal window. I want to show you one more thing and I want to talk a little bit more about those seats, which I find it incredible. So I didn't have words to explain how comfortable are those seats. They are incredible and I read about it and I know they're the way they work on the seats. They are special made with extra foam, I think 15 millimeter foam, over foam and so on. And they, they are crazy comfort. If you want a comfort, they are not sporty, but if you want a comfort, those seats are, are super, super good. Now here you already saw those climatic system button, physical buttons. Now let's go in the back. Here we have some plastic on the upper side, kind of the same trim. Here plastic, here we have this uh, textile material and here we have leather. So where it's matter, we have soft materials. Here we have some storage space, speaker, quite big entrance. It's pretty good for the size of the car. You can see also in the back here, the way the seats look like. So this is the way it looks. Also the same as in the front, super comfy also on the rear. Same design, is all fixed. You can install two child seats here in the back. Here you have uh, two cup holders with some storage space. Behind the front seats, some storage space up here. Storage space here, soft material, so no plastic hard or something like that. Going inside, here you have two vents in the back and the uh, USB 2 down here, not USB-C. Now here we have some lights, also no LED, normal halogen light and handle. The roof is white and the visibility, it's pretty good. So you can see big window, also another window there. Good visibility and the comfort. Ooh, comfort is nice. It's better in the front, but it's nice also here. When it comes to space in the back, I have plenty of space. I have like five fingers over my head. I have plenty of space on my knees. I can also stretch my legs under the front seats without any problem. But going in the middle, kind of complicated, but I still want to do that. So this is the space I have like, wow, here is less space, like three fingers over my head. It goes down, it's kind of a coupe-ish look. So for aerodynamic, but on the knees, it's quite good. It's quite fine. And it's also super soft even here. Probably one of the softest middle seats on the lower end. In the back it's still stiffer, but on the lower end it's pretty good. And this is the way it looks, the dashboard from this area. I think it's quite nice. Also, I like so much the steering wheel and this new trend. I see even the, even Audi, even uh, MG and so many car manufacturers, even BMW use these kind of steering wheels. Flat up, flat down, it's, it's quite nice. 
anyway guys as soon as i get the car for more info more time i will do the test drives and also uh more infos about it test drive full review will come soon on the channel now i want to show you the trunk and then we will try to end up this video so you see the trunk come also with this extra protection around here on the upper side you have also some handles uh pretty big entrance this is a good thing and it's a square entrance that's super useful and most of the car have it today it's a big, big, big trunk. I didn't expect to be that good. 380 liters for the size of the car. For the coupe look of the car, I think it's it's pretty good. Some plastic at the entrance. I like the fact that this one is adjustable, so you can take it out and put it a little bit higher, just like that. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but I still try to do it. Ah, oh, come on, man. It's really almost impossible. Ah, I did it. Now, the good part is that once you put the floor, you have a flat floor here. And then you have some extra space under, and then under, under, you have also some extra space to put your cable, for example, or something like that. Some storage space on the left side, on the right side, some hooks up here in general. This is it. I will show you also now with the seats folded down. Even though I can't do it now, I can put some shots to see how it looks with the seats folded down. So relatively for the size and shape of the car, I think it's quite good. This is it, guys. Ah, by the way, the charging port is here on the driver's side, on the left side. So you have the AC and DC right here. Quite nice. Anyway, let me close the trunk and take a look one more time for the car. I like the Citroen writing on the back. I like the back end. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm in love with the back end. I think the back end look good. What do you think, guys? Write me in the comments. What do you think about the back end? What do you think about the car in general? By the way, if I miss something, just write me down in the comments and I will tell you whatever question you have. This is the engine, by the way. This is the way it looks. Yeah, relatively simple. From an electric car, you would expect to have some storage space, but no, nah, not here. Because they probably they probably will use this platform and this array to petrol engine. I'm not sure about that, but I think that the way it looks here, we have also the wiper fluid. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that was the video, guys. It's, it's crazy noisy, many people, music, noise. Of course, I will voice insulate my voice so you probably won't heard what it's around me but trust me it's music there are people it's a lot of noise but guys i hope the video was useful i hope you get some useful information from here i think this citroen ec4 it's another electric car option of electric car which uh, it's welcome on the market so yeah for more detail more information and what i'm really interested to see i didn't have time because was a world premiere and i didn't have time here in paris there were so many cars and so many technical data but if the car come with a lfp battery it will be really interesting the same as on the new citroen c3 ec3 electric version where it comes with lfp battery if this one come with lfp battery it will be really interesting so yeah i have to check that anyway thank you for watching stay safe don't forget to like share subscribe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys see you soon